What's up guys? This is my 2003 Hummer H2. It's got 97,000 miles on it. It runs and drives awesome. It doesn't need anything. Anything mechanically, it runs and drives perfect the way it is. Buy it and take it home. This truck does have a rebuilt title. Uh, what that means in Connecticut is that it had enough damage at one point in its life to total it. And then it was inspected by the DMV to be deemed rebuilt. It's not the same thing as a salvage. And believe me, from firsthand experience, those guys that do the inspections at the DMV, they're looking for any reason to fail anything. So if it passed them and got rebuilt stamped on it, that means that it's fixed correctly. Whatever the damage was, I don't know. And it's ready for the road and safe because they, they will look for any reason to fail you. They're, they're brutal. So it's actually probably safer than it is than it was when it came out of the factory because they literally go over the thing with a fine tooth comb. I've been driving this car myself for the past month. It's, it's awesome. It runs and drives perfect. It does have a few things. It, the body on this looks mint. There's no major cosmetic damage anywhere except for right here on this corner. It looks like it was this was repainted, which is probably the reason that it was uh, totaled at one point. And the paint is flaking off. This needs to be repainted from this side over. Any body shop could do that fairly easily. It's just that corner piece there, and it should be pretty cheap to fix. And that's it. The rest of the body looks great. The paint is shiny. Everything's nice. The tires are like brand new. All four of them. You see the tread on these tires. They're, they're, they're mint. All four of them are the same. There's no major rips in the seats or anything like that. The seats are all nice. The interior is clean. It's a really cool truck. It's fun to drive. It's not like anything else. It's, you know, it's a blast to drive it down the road. It sort of feels like you're in a hot rod because the windows are so short. They're all um, set up for a third row, the H2s, but this one does not have the third row, but you can buy the seat and it clips in right here. And then you just, you know, just snaps right in the back. But this one does not have the third row seat in it currently. Those seats fold down in the front there, the, the rear back row, and it gives you tons of cargo room. You can carry pretty much anything in this thing. It's huge. Every once in a while, I come across a car that I kind of go back and forth with selling. This is one of them. This thing is really nice. I, I have a ton of cars and too many projects, and unfortunately, I can't keep them all as much as I'd like to. But this is one of the ones that I had thought about keeping because it really is a nice car it, it, it just runs awesome everything works it's got a pioneer aftermarket head unit has navigation on it climate control that uh, that's one other thing I want to point out uh, it does need an AC compressor the AC compressor isn't working right now so the AC does not work uh, but everything else works on it all the lights four-wheel drive works the radio works it's got a iPod hookup in it there's a cable right here that comes from the radio. And it's down here somewhere. You can charge your phone. There it is. You set up for an iPhone 7. And you can play your music through the radio and charge your phone at the same time. It's got a sunroof. I'll show you guys underneath. It's not rotted or anything like that. It's all solid underneath. No rot anywhere. These things are crazy. They have skid plates all over the place. The whole underneath of the thing is, is all skid plated for off-roading. I believe this has the steepest approach and departure angle of any production car except the H1. A lot of people think that these are uh, just rebodied Tahoes. That's not the case at all. The front of this thing, the front frame rails are from a 2500 HD pickup. The middle section of the frame is Hummer specific, only for Hummer, and then just the rear frame rails themselves are from a Tahoe, but the suspension itself is all Hummer, it's just the frame rails. They use a three-piece frame when they, when they made these things from the factory. And that's a misconception about them being, being a Tahoe, this is, this is not a Tahoe. If you watch the videos online of these things, you can lock all the axles together. There's a video of it, uh, they'll, they'll get it stuck so that only one wheel has traction, and the thing will crawl right out. They're amazing off-road, they're amazing in the snow, and they're just fun to drive. If I didn't call... 
All right, I'm gonna start it up so you guys can hear it run. Starts right up, runs nice and smooth. If I didn't cover anything in this video or the pictures and you want to see something else, feel free to email me or call me. The number is 203-687-7030. I'd be happy to take another video of any particular area you want to see or anything like that. Uh, if you're local to Meriden, Connecticut, come see it in person, take it for a ride. Uh, this I say this at the end of every video and it seems like nobody listens to me. If you have less than 15 for a feedback score, and that's the number next to your username, don't bid on it unless you contact me first. I don't care if you if you have a low feedback score, as long as you call me first and I talk to you and make sure you're a serious buyer. If you have less than 15 and you bid on it without contacting me first, I'm immediately going to block you and remove your bid. People win cars all the time and then they never pay for them and it's a giant waste of time and it's extremely frustrating. Again, I don't have a problem if you have low feedback, you know, that that's fine. Just call me first, say, hey man, I'm a real buyer. I like the car, I wanna bid on it. And I'll let you do that. But if you bid without contacting me first, then I'm just going to block you. And my... Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching my auction.